Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is yet another layout for Mini Man March, 21 days of boy themed layouts. And for this layout, I am going to be using exclusively the Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. And the idea behind this layout is I have used quite a bit of the patterned paper, but I am not I haven't used a lot of the like the ephemera, the chipboard stickers, like the embellishments, I still have quite a lot. So the inspiration behind this layout is just that, that I'm going to um, try and use up as much of the, of the embellishments as I can. Um, also, I do apologize for the lighting. I have to bear in mind that just because I can see clearly doesn't mean that the camera is picking up on all the light. Um, so next time I'll work on the lighting. But right now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing, I grabbed four, three different shimmers. The colors are Tickle Me Turquoise. This green one is called I have it here. Luck, Luck of the Irish. And the final one is called Boogie Boarding Blue. And basically, I'm creating two different, two distinct areas of color. One to the left side, one to the right side. I'm using the packaging technique and I'm also adding some splatters. Um, see that darker one is called boogie or boggy boogie boarding blue and the idea is that right where I have all this gorgeous color going on I'm going to layer in lots of embellishments so my so basically that's like the design of the layout my picture will be right in the center and all the embellishments will be sort of like coming out of the layout of the picture and I'm using a lot of different stuff. I have the chipboard stickers. I have the card, the, I have the regular cardstock stickers. I have ephemera. Um, yeah, I'm trying to use all that up as much as I can because I'm trying to bash kits that I have. See here, the lighting was better. Um, not like entirely better, but better. Um, the background is dry. I also added some splatters of gold. Um, actually no it's not gold it's bumbly bee it's a yellow since the collection has a bit of yellow um, I run it wanted to pull that in so here's everything that I have left from the carousel collection I'm trying to balance out the black and white elements with the colored elements um, I'm adding lots of stuff in yeah, right now it looks like, oh, she's doing like everything except the kitchen sink sort of thing. Um, now that I look a bit at it, most of the things that I do add here do make it onto the layout, but I just rearrange them better. Because um, again, this is one of those embellishment heavy layouts that I just wanted to make so that I could use the stuff up. And here I'm learning from my mistakes and I'm taking a picture of how I've sort of organized stuff because in a previous layout that I made, I didn't and I did not remember how the order of the patterned paper and yeah, you know, it happens, but here I'm trying not to. And then one other thing that I wanted to make was make shaker pockets because Apart from using my stash of scrapbook paper, I'm also trying to make my way through my stash of Spiegel Mom scraps sequins. Um, I thought I didn't have a lot, but when, like, because during the course of Mini Man March, I've also been cleaning up and tidying up, organizing my scrapbook area. And I realized that over the years, I've 
bought like maybe 15 packets of sequins and you know some of you might be like that's not a whole lot but for me it's a lot especially since I haven't like I barely used them so I have them all set up in a bowl and I'm trying to use them up as much as I can um, you might have already seen some layouts where I've added some sequins here and there I've made shaker pockets I've added a boat a boat load of sequins to some layouts because I just want to use stuff up I don't want to toss anything out I want to use them up I want to make projects I want to make gifts one of I want to use up the stuff so yeah here I'm using some just craft foam to make a frame around the backside of these embellishments um, just so that you know the sequins have actual movement um, and to form like the basic shaker pockets and then I just trim around the acetate I don't know where I got that acetate from it's very very it's very very thin it's basically it all it's almost like the packaging um, thing <laughs> the packaging um, like when you buy um, a collection that sort of plastic that they come wrapped in that sort of thing and here I'm adding an extra layer of craft foam because I know that my embellishments are going to be dimensional. Some of the are going to be popped up on some regular craft, craft foam. Some are just gonna be placed as is. Others, like the chipboard stickers, they already have their own dimension. So basically what I'm going to do is just like try and layer everything in, but I don't want it to like I want my picture to almost literally stand up from the rest of the layers of embellishment. And then here, my giraffe is already popped up on some craft foam. So I am just like removing some of the craft foam that, um, that went on the legs of the giraffe just so that I, I don't have any open spaces for sequins to come out. And the sequin packet that I'm using is called Bursting Sun Rays. And it's a gorgeous, <coughs> excuse me, it's a gorgeous mix of yellows, greens, and blues. And it for me, it, I, it just went perfect with this, um, with the overall color scheme of this layout and here yeah you know adding craft foam you know me if you've been with me since the beginning or even if you m came here and you know anyways the point of the matter is I love dimension in my layouts it just makes things I don't want to make a joke but it just makes things pop makes things not like fall flat on their faces it just makes them like the whole layout come together here i'm at i'm placing my atg on top of the of the shaker pocket so that the glue dries and i don't have any sequins like running around and escaping and while that's going i'm just continuing to add some some of uh, my embellishments And even though I wanted to use that sort of use of all the, the embellishments um, thing, um, mojo inspiration for this layout, I did have to struggle because for me, I'm at most of the time, I'm a literal scrapbooker. Like, why am I using a giraffe? Why am I using a, car a carousel uh, zebra on a layout that is not doesn't have to deal with anything like that but I'm trying to break away from that I'm trying to you know just use embellishments as decorative pieces if they belong to the story or not um, because yeah if I were to, to 
just focus on the literal um, like oh I'm gonna use an umbrella cut file because I'm holding an umbrella in the picture um, I probably won't be able to use up my stash as much as much as I can but yeah I'm trying to break away from that um, and this layout was just basically that like it's this picture documents my second son's sixth six month photo shoot which makes my older son a year and nine months old at the time and those like nearly every month we have a photo shoot of my sons and courtesy of their grandfather because yeah I mean we need pictures right so um so yeah he helps us out with the documenting of our son's um growth and whatnot and this was one of those very tender pictures that it's just I love it I love it so I'm bringing in some pom-poms from the same carousel collection and some sickable sequins that I found in my stash not sequins rhinestones and I just write my journaling beneath it and beneath my picture and title and I hope I've inspired you to use up lots of embellishments I didn't use any patterned paper I just basically used cardstock and embellishments and look how it turned out I love this layout and I hope I've inspired you to use up your stash and I'll see you back soon with another process video.